battery life continues to be a major concern for people and their smartphones. So with the launch of Android 14, Google has been working on improving things and user feedback about the fourth beta release seem to indicate that this is working out well. We aren't going to be seeing anything major like we had with Android 6.0 and the introduction of Doze Mode. However, the company has been focused on tightening up app permissions, tweaking two major APIs that Android uses, and bringing back the screen time since last full charge metric. So to begin, Google has adjusted two major APIs for both foreground services and its job scheduler. The goal of these tweaks were to focus on improving the efficiency of tasks like background activities, as well as transferring large files. These both seem to be major drags on the battery, and they look to be improved with Android 14. Google has confirmed that the user-initiated data transfer job will make managing these large uploads and downloads easier on the system, especially when they require constraints like downloading on Wi-Fi only. Android 14 will also make more judgments when it comes to how foreground services should be used and believes that reserving them for only the highest priority user-facing tasks will allow the operating system to improve resource consumption as well as battery life. The latest Android update will also be implementing a new Schedule Exact Alarm permission. All applications that aren't clocks or calendars will be required to ask the user for this permission if they need that functionality. Precise alarms tend to be very taxing on battery life and other resources, so allowing the user to decide which apps can and cannot use them should help things out tremendously. Android 14 is also getting back a metric that allows us to see our screen time since the device was fully charged. We can find this in the settings app, then tap on battery, and then choose battery usage. And you should see that metric right there toward the top. This feature was something that people enjoyed before it was replaced in Android 12 with a stat for battery usage over the last 24 hours. Many people felt that being able to know your screen time since the phone was last fully charged was a more accurate way to see how long your phone actually lasted. It took Google a couple of years to decide to bring it back, and it has been welcomed during the entire beta program this year. While these aren't the only changes happening in Android 14 in regards to battery life, they are the ones that will be making the biggest impact. As mentioned before, I have been seeing a lot of reports from people within the community that say the Android 14 Beta 4 update has improved their battery life by a lot. And while this will likely not be the case for every single person who installs the update, seeing so much positive feedback about battery life with this beta has given me hopes that it will translate over into the stable build. If you've had a chance to try out the latest version of Android 14, then let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments section below. So far, this update isn't putting up numbers like I saw when I had Graphene OS installed on my Google Pixel 7 Pro, but it's been much, much better than the stable version of Android 13 that I had on it before.